In most OECD countries, the share of women graduated in STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and math is very low, and constantly lower than the share of men. Vice versa, the fraction of men in non-STEM fields, such as literature, health, and social services, is much lower compared to the share of women. What are the factors that can explain this gender segregation in educational choices? Preferences? Boys prefer to study STEM and girls prefer to study literature? Or the culture, the environment and the stereotypes to which boys and girls are exposed? What we suspect is that parents and peer stereotypes can influence boys and girls in what they decide to study. To test our hypothesis in a joint work with uh, Michela Carlana from Harvard Kennedy School, we collected data among 2,000 middle school students in Italy and we ran an experiment. We asked students to choose to solve a task. In the field of study, math or literature, they think they are better at. First, we found a very substantial gender gap boys are more likely to choose math and girls are more likely to choose literature. Second, we divided students in different groups. To some students, we asked to think about what their mother would recommend them to choose before making their own choice between math and literature. To another group of students, we asked to think about what their fathers would recommend them to choose before making their own choice. We found that girls who think about their mother recommendation before making their own choice are 20% less likely to choose math compared to similar girls who make their own choice without thinking about their mother's recommendation. Boys' decision is not influenced by reflection on mother's recommendation, but it's influenced by fathers. So when boys think about father's recommendation, they increase the probability of choosing math by 16% compared to similar students who made their own choice without thinking about their father's recommendations. With our experiment, we also test the influence of peers in students' choice of their field. To some students, we told that their classmates could observe their choice and to others that they had to interact and correct the task together with classmates who had made their same choice. So if they choose the task in math, they would have to discuss the math task together with classmates who choose math. We do find that uh, boys' behavior is not affected by peers. Boys still choose math independently of the fact that their classmates can observe their choice. They are not afraid of peer pressure or to take unconventional decisions. However, results are different for girls. The probability of choosing math decreases for girls who know they have to interact with classmates who made the same choice. Girls shy away from math when they think they have to interact with boys. There are three key messages of our research. Number one, parents' stereotypes are crucial. Mothers have a strong influence on girls, pushing them to think they are better in literature than in math. Fathers have a stronger influence on boys, pushing them to think they are better in math than in literature. Number two, Peers' interaction are important in the choice of the field, but only for girls. Girls study less math to avoid interaction in male-dominated context. Number three, policies designed to reduce gender stereotypes might be helpful to redistribute talents across educational fields, reducing gender inequality and thus increasing productivity.